Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. Yo. What's good? What's good? What's good? I am Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you are watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, shoeloversrebels.com, you should check it out. The link is right here in your face got products that you can buy also got content that you can watch subscribe to if you are rocking with my stream i appreciate you please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that when i do go live you'll know monday through friday i go live at 6 p.m eastern standard time in the united states of america so if you watching from anywhere else it's probably gonna be like totally different time and i apologize for that but i just know what time i go live here so i'm just letting you know so you can do the necessary steps to find out when i go live also only reason i'm going live now is because last night it was storming so bad that i damn near got electrocuted my fucking self but some good came out of it <laughs> so i'm gonna stream twice today y'all oh my god i can't believe it yeah i'm going i'm going live twice today so i'm going live now and I'm going live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today as well. You're welcome. I only do it because I love y'all, man. Now we got the shameless plugs out the way. I want to show y'all some of this product that I got from 1111, which I've been trying to show y'all, but I had to get my shit organized and situated first so that I can show y'all this shit properly. Now, I know I'm purple right now, but it's okay. Y'all still going to be able to see it. So these are the notebooks. These are... This is the set before the newest set, cause she got a new set out now. But as you can see, endless pages, the right, got the arm symbol. This is one, I got another one as well. This, this is probably my favorite one, cause it's got elephants on it. And elephant is like my spirit animal. So you can see hella pages. This is a smaller one. I got a uh, original set from her as well. I will go grab it, but y'all know once I get in front of this camera, I am not moving. So we just gonna let it be what it is. Now, I done got the shameless plugs out the way for real, for real this time. Also, I got jewelry on the website as well. Technicarchive.com. Everything on there is 50% off y'all. So please, 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 please go check out the website and go get you some new shit. Now, yesterday was interesting as fuck. I got this purging feeling. I got the feeling to purge. I had the urge to purge, so I started purging like crazy. I purged out a lot of shit, and I feel like I still didn't do enough trying to create like a creative space in here so that when I get on these streams, I'm actually going, I'm going in, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, get the real creative juices out. Now, in the midst of that, I had a lot of thinking amongst myself and about purging. So, 
just creating a new home, a new space for my heart, because it's the Cancer Moon. And right now, like, I don't know, I just feel like I was like praying to Lord Shu, like, Lord, I want this love in my heart to be expressed properly. And I'm putting all my intentions into this. But sometimes I feel like I need to be in a different space in order for that to be, right? You know, positive influences can only come into a place where you surrender and that positive influence and that love can come in. So I got to talking to my girl yesterday about some shit. And just trying to trying to build the bond, make the bond like stronger. But when you when you try and build that bond, sometimes shit ain't peachy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't always gonna be peachy. And I ain't gonna lie, lately I've been talking about her a lot in these streams, but it's just because this woman been here after I had like like in my lowest points, she's still around. But she also helped me heal myself, helped me learn a lot about myself and things that I need to be on top of, you know what I'm saying? Just getting my brain into a certain place. But that's why though, like she she does that, you know what I'm saying? But I got other people who help me do that as well. Like Tefnik helped me out figuring out shit about myself on a creative level on a teacher level, as a teacher, as a mentor, helping me realize things about myself. And it's always women, bro. But this new moon in Cancer definitely got me in my feelings on some Drake shit, for real. Come to find out, me and Drake got a lot of similar astrological placements. By astrological, I mean the, the planets and where they were when I was born, me and Drake had the same setup. So, Everybody see me kind of like how they see him sometimes as far as the homies They always used to say shit like man, you light skin, bro. You can do this. You can do that You can you can get away with shit like that And I used to always look at myself as a dark skin that just so happened to have light skin and I'm sure dark skins will probably say otherwise because these niggas act like oh I don't have feelings, but the most of the dark skins that I know be more in their feelings about shit than I I would. Like the homie who stays in Atlanta, he ended up dating my ex, right? This nigga basically kept a gun around because he thought I was gonna try and take her back from him. <laughs> and the only reason I could say this now is because this is old news. But just giving y'all uh examples. So this nigga used to like be on like his shit cause I guess the shit that I wouldn't do I'm not killing no motherfucking body for you I'm sorry like if if you're attracting that type of energy I don't need to be around your motherfucking ass anyways so if I if, if I gotta fucking carry glocks and shit because we in a relationship I definitely don't need to be in a motherfucking relationship with you that's just how I look at it but I'm just like come on man you can have it bro Obviously, y'all done went through a whole bunch of little secret codes and shit just to be together. You can have a bro. Like, I don't need that type of energy around me. But damn, the shit just be crazy. Like, like what some people willing to do for a relationship. And I'm just like, man, I know what I'm not willing to do now. I'm not willing to go through that type of shit. There's just no point. <laughs> it's no point, man, when you on a mission and everybody ain't gonna understand your mission. So sometimes you gotta let certain shit be what it is. Leave it in the past. But I'm just like, damn, this new moon in Cancer got me thinking about shit like this. Like, what am I willing to put up with that I'm not willing to put up with anymore that I'm willing to do myself in order to raise my relationships to a better level? And not just uh, relationships with a significant other, but just with family and friends like i pretty much got rid of all the people i would consider friends out of my life because i just felt like they ain't, they didn't give a fuck about me man and it's not that you know my personal opinion on that but i i just look at niggas by actions man you know if uh i've been steady doing certain certain things for you for a long time 
But when I come around, it's always about some money or it's always about what you, what we can do. And somehow I always end up having to pay for it. Well hey, man, you trying to hit this spot up? Hey, man, you got me on this food? Hey, man, you got me on this drink? You got me on this... Like, bro, I used to pull up on niggas at the studio. We at the studio, right? How is it that you can pay for the session, but you can't pay for the weed? You can't pay for the drink? You can't pay, like, nigga. What the fuck? You supposed to be a rapper. You supposed to be better rapper than me, better artist than me, but it ain't showing because you ain't getting no bread from this shit, so you can't pay for your own drink, your own weed and shit, but I gotta come out of my pocket for this shit, or I gotta roll up my weed and smoke it with you. Like, I done got to the point now, like, nigga, I smoke personals. And I done got to telling people that, like, when I pull up to the spot, bro, I smoke personals. I'm not passing you, hey, man, what you smoking on, cuz? This is crack, nigga. You don't want it. I'm about to just start telling niggas I smoke crack. They already believe it anyways. So, fuck it. I'm going to just start telling niggas this shit. Hey, man, you don't want this, man. It's straight up cracking this blunt, nigga. How the fuck you rolling up crack rocks in a blunt, nigga? I don't know. I found a way, though. And you don't want these type of problems, homeboy. <laughs> but this this new moon and cancer got me feeling crazy as shit, man. Like, I'm not I'm not finna. I gotta approach family from a, a different perspective. You know, it used to be I, I was so family oriented to the point where it was detrimental for me. Like the same shit applies to them. Like nigga, what you smoking on, cuz? Hey man, make sure you got an ounce when I pull up. Like. Y'all niggas don't have, y'all don't know, like, nigga, you from a place where weed is legal. How you can't get no fucking weed? You got actual fucking health problems. I don't have no health problems, nigga. I just smoke because I like getting high as hell. Why the fuck? What the fuck? Like, I just be watching how niggas moving. And I'm like, man, I ain't hating, bruh. I ain't feeling like this. Like, I used to feel like, oh, it's something wrong with me, man, because I'm just thinking all this way about people I care about, but it's like, nah, bruh. Niggas will start sucking your energy, man. And the more you get in the light, the more niggas start sucking your energy. It's like a light bulb and you got a bunch of, a bunch of different types of moths. You got the positive moths and you got the negative moths, man. And guess what? Negative moths, they like light even more than the regular moths. They be like, ah, oh, no, it's cool, man. I'm not gonna fuck. I'm not gonna fuck with these, this guy like that too much because... You know, he's an energy source. I don't want to keep siphoning off this guy because he's such a positive being. Like, I want him to be in a positive place so that he can continue to provide the light. But, oh, no. Niggas see the light, and the first thing they'll do is they'll siphon your energy. They're going to talk shit about you. They're going to hate on you. I done had haters my whole life, though. But they really going to hate on you. And it be the niggas the closest to you going to hate on you the most. Like, you can never speak your truth without having a hater pop up. So... It's new moon and cancer is basically about that. Speaking your truth. Being being for real with yourself too though. And not and creating healthy boundaries. So I'm putting all this energy into this moon that's coming up. I don't really fuck with the moon like that, but the cycles of our world, our ancient world, comes from that. So I'm just gonna keep pouring energy into this. For everybody watching this stream and people around me, I'm putting all this love and energy, a positive energy into this shit. So before you know it, we all think in the same way. We all creating healthy boundaries. We all not siphoning off of each other because I, I see the results of that and it's not cool. I see the results of that shit and it's affecting people mentally, emotionally, physically to the point where niggas is getting sick and I'm here. So it's just like, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not getting to the point now where I'm just going to approach people like, uh... Hmm. I don't fucking like you type shit like nah bro it's a way to everything my brother always say that it's a way it's a way of doing shit and I always try to keep that in my head but I'm so hot headed y'all I got too many signs and fire and I'm just so fucking hot headed that I don't really give a fuck about none of that like you gonna be a bitch <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clown you man I'm gonna scrape your ass up like I don't like shit like that man but this yoga and this meditation I've been doing has been helping as of late. Because last weekend, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was spazzing the fuck out. Like, I went to Atlanta. And I'm just like, bro, I'm tired of niggas, like, fucking with me, bro. Wasting my time. I'm getting tired. Like, and it ain't just one one person. It's all these niggas, man. 
and a whole bunch of different people on that fuck shit right now. And I'm like, focus as fuck. Like, I get on here every day, same time. Focus as fuck. I'm making beats. Waking up 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, making beats till 12, 1, 2 o'clock, getting my stream ready, getting rid of niggas out the click, like trying to do shit the way I'm supposed to, staying focused on my path, because right now, I got to go 100%. But you know how it is, man. When you start when you start really getting on your shit, you start seeing who really with you and who not with you. Niggas going to talk shit even more because, oh, now it's... Now it's you, you kind of threatening them. They feel like they being threatened because you moving faster. You getting to the bad faster. You doing you like how you supposed to. And niggas hate that shit. I don't know why, but people hate that shit, bro. But don't let it get you down. Put that positive energy into... Put that positive energy into your boundaries and to yourself and just keep going because it'll pay off in the long run. It always does. Every time I go through a journey like this, it always pays off for me in the long run. My pockets get fatter. The food I eat gets so much more gourmet. Like, all the shit that I like. The beauty around me. The bitches get better. Like, shit gets better. <laughs> so, it's not like it's going to go sideways. Like, the thing that I like, like, my personal preferences, I literally manifested that motherfucker. Like, I know it probably sounds crazy because everybody know me as the motherfucking... Pan-African guy back in the day Like when I first started my spiritual journey I was the pan-African guy So I was like super anti-white person And shit like that And I'm, I can say that here on this live Like I used to be anti like I used to be anti-human But We not about that on this channel Alright This channel is about ascension for all people Because like I said In one of my previous streams the rainbow children are taking over this world. They are a mixture of everything. So in order for me to hate other people and, and stupid lame shit like that, that means I have to hate the future. And I'm a part of that future because the future self is living right now within me live. Y'all seeing what I look like in the future. I'ma still be this beautiful. I'ma still have this flawless ass skin. I'ma still have these fire ass clothes. I'ma still be cloaked out like ain't shit gonna change too much about me except the pockets gonna get fatter the address gonna change and the bitches getting better and the, and all the food and the drink gonna get way more gourmet so just know whoever tell you about my past is have blood song x that nigga's dead there's no more have blood song only time have blood song come out is when i make music sometimes sometimes i might have to hop out but i'm about to love man only way i'm gonna make this planet Ascend to higher heights is that love, man. So fuck all that extra shit. But when I first started out my shit, I was on some pan-African shit, man. So I used to be real, real about the culture. But deep down inside of me, when I when I was growing up, I didn't date no black girls like that, bro. I only dated white girls. And even somebody will be like, well, you used to date Puerto Ricans. That's a white girl, as far as I'm concerned, man. They hair like white people. So, but now I got me the shit that works for me, I guess. It's, it's, it's what's in my head most of the time. It's what I look at most of the time. And now it's here. Not saying that there's nothing wrong with black girls. It's just black girls tend to not fuck with me. And it's just what it is. They just don't. <laughs> like, the ones that I ever did fuck with, I don't know. They they was in love with me. Don't get it twisted. They did. They did. All of them were always in love with me. But it's just always some fucking bullshit come with it. And I don't know why. It's I ain't going to equate all black girls to that. But I'm going to just say this. The ones that I fucked with always came with some kind of extra baggage. All the, all the white girls, most of them never really came with baggage like that except for like a couple of them. And trust me, I done dated way more like... I ain't been in a lot of like little flings and relationships and shit like that, but I'm just not willing to put up with the fuckery no more. Re irregardless of race, I'm just not willing to put up with the fuck shit no more. So, it is what it is. Sometimes I have to step in and really help myself out. I'll go and do some bullshit 
on my own merit and be like, damn, why I did that? <laughs> like, I knew I knew shit was spicy when I went out of my way to go do some shit with another chick when I was already in a relationship. That's when I was like, damn, bro, I gotta stop this shit. And of course, it bit me in the ass though, cause old girl ended up doing the same shit to me. So you know, uh, we just we just call it even. <laughs> we just call it even. And I'm not uh, I'm not advocating for cheaters, <laughs> but. I'm not advocating for people who cheat, but sometimes listen, look, listen to your hearts, y'all. Okay, if what if if what you're doing, obviously, if what you're doing is leading you to a different direction, go follow that direction and just be be a man or be a woman and just be like, hey, this ain't working. Like I don't fucking like you like that. You really kind of annoying. Like <laughs> just be a man and just say what's on your heart, bro, so that whoever you fucking with. Y'all can move into a better place Cause when you start saying like You start being mean to that person You start doing shit out of just being frustrated And angry Then you gonna look like a whole dickhead In the end because you could have really Just been like listen this ain't working We should just go our separate ways And I'm gonna just be here And you just be over there We can't be friends Like I don't see how niggas be friends with people that they used to date bro. Like, that shit is not flying, bro. You got to let that shit completely go, because then you'll be sitting here thinking about fucking her or fucking him. You, It just, it don't work, bro. Like, you can't, it, do, it just doesn't work, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to be the type of nigga, hey, you remember how, you remember you used to do that, that thing? Hey, you could do that real quick. We homies, though. We ain't got to have, like, nah, because eventually you won't end up hating that bitch. Or hating that nigga and then it's, it's just all bad, bro. You don't want them type of problems, man. It's just all bad. That's why I'm saying, y'all, Cancer New Moon. Like, what are, what are you willing to put up with? That's what this moon is about. Becoming an emotional, uh, becoming emotionally mature. If you know people gonna fucking get you hype and pissed off, stay by your motherfucking self, bro. Just stay out the mix, man. Especially when they be on that gossip shit. Just stay out the mix, bro. If you know niggas gonna get you hot. If you know seeing people do stupid lame shit, making terrible decisions, pisses you off. Stay the fuck out the way, man. Real shit. You don't want them type of problems. Because before you know it, you'll be fucking even more pissed. And then you'll say some mean shit out of just being upset. Some shit you don't even mean. And these are people you really love and care about. Don't do that shit, man. That's whack as fuck. Like, I didn't did that shit. That's why I'm telling y'all. That shit is whack as fuck. Don't do that shit. It's better ways to approach them. If, if, if you can't find a way, if you can't say nothing cool, just don't even fucking be around them. Just be a fucking hermit. Even if you live with a bunch of people, just be a goddamn hermit. Like, that shit is lame, bro. Don't do that. Because these people genuinely give a fuck about you. They might not act like it, but it's family, bro. You around these people every day. They got to have some kind of fucking emotional feelings towards you, man. If, especially if they like cooking dinner and shit and you eating the food or they taking care of, you know, washing dishes. Bruh, just be cool, man. <laughs> like, what are you willing to put up with, though? You know, set boundaries. Let people know. Like, speak your truth. Be for real. Come from the heart. Everything will be all right. Everything's going to be cool. Shoe X, now, the shit I really want to talk about. So yesterday, bro, when I damn near got electrocuted, I got this tree in my yard that I call the ancestry, the ancestral tree, or the family tree. And this tree communicates me anywhere I go in the world. This tree communicates with me through other pieces of nature. So I might be at a crystal shop or a metaphysical shop, and I'll, I'll be like uh, looking at you know different spiritual tools and shit like that. My ancestral tree will align with me, with my energy, and help me pick out certain spiritual things. So that when I bring it back here to the homestead, to headquarters, SLR headquarters, I got all these crystals and it communicates with those crystals. And then those crystals that I take and put in. Technically, I'm not supposed to tell y'all about the mojo bag or the gris gris bag or the medicine bag because it's technically supposed to be a secret that you use to power up. But everybody should have a mojo bag or a medicine bag. This is what my ancestors used to carry to power up as a shaman. Because 
what real natives know is that it's not about following a major religion it's about creating your own religion and finding your own connection with higher source so my family ancestral tree helps me do that which is why i'm on here speaking to y'all about this new talisman i got now when uh i'm gonna just explain to you process of why trees get electrocuted so there's sap inside of the tree and when it rains the uh, steam gets created inside the bark of the tree so the the lightning is attracted to that steam and creates an electrical current inside of the tree from the steam being inside the bark and so that's like creating basically like a pole like a uh like a damn like receiver of energy so the electricity hits this tree and the first thing you'll notice is that all the bark on the tree comes off the tree itself doesn't split it just the bark comes out so in native cultures uh lightning struck wood is the strongest talisman that you can get now at first i was pissed off because i'm just like damn bro I hope that my ancestral tree isn't fucked up. But I looked at the tree real good. I made sure it wasn't no splits, no cracks. And it was just simply because of the moisture and the steam inside of the tree. Because trees are alive. And this tree it just shed its skin. And that's all. So the the bark, I have so much of this this lightning struck wood, y'all. Like it's crazy. And I just collected all of that I could find. And I'm getting ready to break it down and make wands out of it. Uh, little bags of it broken down into like dust, you know, shit like that. Because this is a strong talisman for protection, warding away negative energy. Like just since like last night, I astral traveled last night off of this shit. Now, I normally don't even have dreams, especially if I didn't smoke recently, which I had smoked recently. I don't normally even have dreams. I'm dreaming through that shit and I'm having astral, I'm astral projecting two people that I know. So this is, this is a piece of it that I got from my ancestral tree and I'm spreading this love and this injury. So if you want a piece of this electrocuted wood, I'll sell you some because this is just a exchange of energy and this tree wants to be all over the world. It costs money to travel, so the tree knows this. So he's like, "Hey, um, I need to, I need to go to all these different places, but y'all gotta, y'all gotta pay for the plane ticket." <laughs> so if y'all want some of this ancestral wood from my tree, this electrocuted tree wood, you can break this up. If you combine this with cedar, like break, like uh, take off little chips and combine it with cedar and burn it in your crib. This shit is stronger than, it's stronger than uh, sage, palo santo, or holy wood. Basically, you can burn this, and instead of just clearing out all the negative energy and the positive energy like sage does, or smoothing out the energy like palo santo, this clears out and it keeps positive energy in the area. But it also raises, like if your awareness is whack, what you manifest while you burning this wood will manifest y'all so be careful burning this type of shit because you could be burning this with some man i can't stand niggas and then before you know it, a bunch of niggas you can't stand gonna show up so just word words of wisdom to all my shamans out there my witches and my wiccans and all my spiritual people you know i really ain't fucking with titles y'all probably aren't either y'all just identify with it because of the practices see i practice all of the paths the left hand paths and the right hand paths so my spirituality goes very deep because i am a walking religion i am a walking spiritual uh spiritual title i'm all these things in one so why subject myself to just only one you know what i'm saying like the original religion of the israelites was voodoo so why would I, you know what I'm saying? Why would I just subject myself to only Christianity when my ancestors were tricked using Christianity? So, you know, I have my I have my things with that, but if this is a spiritual channel, if you're not 
if you're not open-minded watching my channel you might as well just not even watch this shit because we talking about every form of spirituality not just christianity not just uh buddhism not just islam this is everything on here because i done studied them all like i said back in the day i was in pan-african real deep but all pan-africanism is is catholicism with blackness sprinkled on top of it so you know i ain't fucking with none of that shit because most of the kids getting raped and kidnapped and shit like that be catholic priests and shit like that so you gotta be careful with shit like that man that's nothing but vampiric energy and i don't know if y'all know but it's a guy named cesari borgia you should look him up matter of fact i'm gonna type it in the chat this is who they got Jesus' face from. <laughs> Cesare Borgia. Now, in the Bible, it say Jesus looks like a nigga. He got nappy-ass hair, and he high as hell, so his eyes red as hell. I mean, I don't know what y'all expecting. Like, the burning bush was weed, so... And I done found the, the Jamaican Bible and all that shit. And I done read it. I done read the original Bible, the Ethiopian... Uh, with the original Gnostic priest, all this shit. I done read all these fucking works. Okay, y'all? So I know about my shit. I'm not just on here ranting. Because if y'all want to talk about facts, I just gave you one. Cesare Borgia. Look him up. And you'll see why he looks exactly like the spitting image of the fucking Jesus picture. The white Jesus picture. Which, it makes me laugh when people have pictures of a black Jesus. I'm just like, fam. What the fuck? <laughs> but I ain't gonna go too deep into that. Like I say, this channel, I'm keeping it the hair hair surface level. I mean, I'm not going into all that bullshit because obviously people are trapped by that concept and they don't want to break out of it. And most of the time, the people who are trapped by that concept don't even follow the laws of this Bible. Ain't now one of y'all got slaves. In the Bible, it's, it tells you to own slaves. So I'm gonna just be real with y'all, man. Read, take everything for what it is as you reading it. That's how you become a real, a real human. You take shit for what it is visually, audio wise, spiritually wise. All this shit is, I take it at face value because I done studied way down deep into occultism. Like, like I was trying to tell y'all yesterday that um, Capricorn, uh, the planet Pluto is five degrees Capricorn right now. Which means that uh, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and uh, it's the first deacon of Jupiter. So, and by first deacon, you got three deacons in astrology. You got the first, second, and third deacon. And it goes by the degrees of where the planet is at. So five degrees will be like the very first, like between zero and one. And then you got one through, or zero and five. And you got five through, um, or no, it's like seven through 10 or seven through 15 and then you got 15 to 30 because there's only 30 degrees between each degree. So you got each of these deacons. So the first deacon of Capricorn or the first deacon of Saturn is Capricorn. Now, this is the baby goat. So these energies is the energy of Saturn and Jupiter ruling the planet of Pluto. So when that happens, Pluto is a generational planet. It takes, I want to say, 10 years for Pluto to make one full revolution around the sun. Either 10 or 20 years. Because my generation is the Scorpio generation in Pluto. So, you know, I'm, I'm about bringing the darkness to the light. Going deep into the occult wisdom and bringing it back to people to enlighten people. Which is why I'm on here ranting now about this shit with the new moon and cancer. The moon is, okay, your sun sign is what everybody knows you as, which is your ego. And to me, I equate the sun to the solar plexus chakra, which is the, sh the chakra that covers your stomach. And all the chakra is, it's a spinning vortex of energy on your body. You have millions of chakras because you have different, you, you see how you moving, right? You see how I'm moving, right? It's a wave, right? You see how smooth it is? You notice how you play old video games? They look like like they jerking when they move? That's because they only have a certain amount of chakras inside of the video game that has them moving like that. You see how smooth we move? That's because we have so many fucking energy centers in our body that helps us move like that. Or 
I call them tourist fields, which is what I explained in my tourist field stream, which you should check that stream out, which is a pretty good stream. I was talking about a lot of fire ass shit on that stream. But all these chakra centers is what ha what makes you move and people can see you on a four dimension and people can think on a fifth to 12th dimension when they see you. So all these, all these energetic centers that you have are controlled by these, I would say these main energy centers that are with, that are known, which will be the crown chakra, the third eye or Ajna, the throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra, and your root chakra. These are the main ones that everybody knows. Now, the sun rules the, uh, the ego, or to me, I would equate that with the solar plexus. The moon, which is what this real stream is about today, the moon is based in emotions. So it would be your heart chakra. Now, me personally, I feel like there's two planets that deal with the heart chakra, which would be the moon, Venus, and for women, it would be Mars because Mars is a sexual planet. So it also deals with the sacral chakra and your root chakra as well. Now, the moon deals with emotions, your emotional intelligence. So if the if it's a new moon, that means you're taking in energy. You're, you're taking in energy. And when it's a full moon, you're getting rid of energy. So the new moon in Cancer, Cancer is the crab, or I would say it would be the first deacon or it would be the baby of the three signs because you have Cancer, Pisces, or no, nah, it's actually the, the middle. So it would be the more mature because Pisces would be considered the baby, I would think. But Pisces is the most intuitive sign. Scorpio is actually the king of the water signs. So Cancer, new moon. Cancer is, my south node is in Cancer. Cancer is the family sign. Uh, I would equate cancer to life path number six, which you can look up life path number six if, if you're interested in that, I'll put it in the chat. Life path number six would be the nurturer, someone or the mother. And of course, Saturn is the crone, the crone mother. You have the wife, the mother, and then the crone. Now the crone is like the queen. This is like the she she is the one that went through all the stages to learn how to be the ultimate ultimate nurturer so right now you in the nurturer phase of yourself you're bringing in nurturing mothering energy and it's a new moon so what you can do today is really sit down and because the new moon is all we're already in it today so what you can do is you sit down and you think about things that you would do if you were your own mother. Or you can go to a mother figure and ask them things about how they raised children or how they took care of children. And get that information and use it on yourself. Or you can go do something mothering. Go nurture someone today and see how you can do that on a, on a, a weekly basis, a daily basis, monthly basis, and try to find ways to nurture people well and look out for them. Now, today, I'm pretty sure some people not gonna fuck with nobody because the best thing to do when you're nurturing yourself is to just not be around a bunch of hectic energy of people who don't know how to nurture themselves. Because days like today is when the vampires come out and they like, oh, this nigga taking care of himself. So I'ma fuck with him and get on his nerves and shit. Like, if you got to, completely move yourself out of the mix. Like, just stay out the mix of shit like that. You don't want, you don't even wanna, it's a nurturing type of day. You wanna be in an energy where nurturing yourself is healthy. And it makes sense as to why you by yourself because you want to get that full, that full, uh, that full energy into you because you're inviting the energy today. Today is about being receptive to being nurtured. 
or if you have a significant other, just be around them. If they're if they're nurturing. Some people are in relationships with people that take away from them. Which, if that's your love language or whatever, that's cool. You go do that. But today is about being receptive to being nurtured or being just nurtured in general. So get get around people that want to look out for you, who want to take care of you, who want to love on you all day and be close to you. That's what you want to be around today. Honestly, three days before and three days after, that's the type of energy you want to be around anyways. Because I give the the moons, when they hit those major cycles like new moons and full moon, you got about two to three days of good energy that you can use and utilize. So take advantage of that energy today, y'all. I'm on here because this is me nurturing y'all spiritual state and y'all third eye because within you is the original you the baby you, the inner child so i'm a nurturing your inner child the best way that i can by giving your inner child the information that he she already knows and building that up to where it uh plays out in your physical manifestation and I'm sending you love and healing energy as well to y'all, as well to myself, because that's what today's about. That's why I showed y'all this talisman. This is now in your psyche. I'm sharing this energy with y'all. But like I said, if you want a piece of this wood, you can come buy some of this shit. I accept cash app. I'll put my cash app in here. And this is for my spiritual people, all right? I know uh, a lot of shamans out here, they, they seek lightning struck wood and it's hard to find an actual supplier, but I can show you pictures. If you hit me up on Cash App, you uh, text me, I'll, you go to my Instagram, Shoe Loves Rebels, LLC, and you can hit me up and I will send you a picture of the tree that got struck by lightning yesterday. You can see in the last stream that I did, the actual lightning, which is I, right after it happened, I got the fuck off the stream because I'm not finna be next. So, y'all can check that shit out. See what's goody. Um, yeah. I think that's all on the talisman that I wanted to talk about. So, yeah. I'm just gonna... Just gonna leave the talisman in, in, the, uh, in the area for y'all to feel. Because ever since this shit been in my presence... And I touched all that wood yesterday. I've been having a lot of psychic, spiritual experiences. Um, just kind of automatically. Normally, well, no, it happens to me automatically a lot. But this shit, like, I've been tapping into higher frequency, which is good. But, yeah. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, it's literally below my head. Like, you can, it's spelled out perfectly. Visit the website. Add me on social media, True Loves Rebels LLC on IG and Facebook. Spelled the same way, True Loves Rebels, with two L's and a C after that. Check me out, man. See what's good. Y'all seen the products. I'll show y'all again, just in case you ain't see. These are products that is on the website on 1111.com. You can check it out. This is notebooks that 1111 has. She just dropped the coloring book, Magically Ratchet. And also, jewelry on tefnetarchive.com is 50% off. So, you should go and hit the store up because once it's gone, it's gone. Every time some new shit comes, new shit, new shit popping up. Alright? Now that we done got the shameless plugs out of the way, we back in this bitch. So, I'm just glad that I could talk to y'all today. Um, lately, I've been feeling kind of shitty, but I'm trying to have positive thoughts about that because in the real, only reason I even feel close to this is because things are changing and I'm a, I'm a, uh, my mid heaven is in Taurus, which means that 
my life is based on beauty and being comfortable and shit like this, working from the crib. You know what I'm saying? I don't work a lot of jobs. I've been working since I was 14 and I'm 31. I turned 32 next year. So I've been working for a minute and all kinds of different types of jobs, like all kinds of different. I went from being a chef to a damn uh, pharmacy tech to a damn uh, corporate trainer teaching people how to make food and shit like that. Instead of making the food myself, I'm teaching people how to make the food. Uh, I done ran a record label. Just I have so many different things that I'll be doing. But I noticed that one thing that just never sits right with me is that I can't, I don't like change. I'm always worried about being fired. So I'm always working super fucking hard because my work ethic is what makes me. So if if I can't, if I don't get recognized for the shit that I'm doing, I'll be ready to bounce, yo. I ain't even gonna lie. I'll be ready to slide the fuck about this bitch, man. I think I'm about to see. No, I ain't about to see. I'll be ready to slide the fuck out this bitch, man. So everything that I do to me is my work ethic. The fact that I get on here every day Today I'm getting on here twice. It just shows you how my work ethic is. If I believe in something, I'm 100% behind it. And this is something that I'm passionate about. Hell, I was if it was up to me, I would stream all day long. But right now, I'm doing this because I want y'all to get an introduction to my content. I don't want this to be I don't want my content to be like uh all over the place. You know, I kind of want to have my theme right now. And then I'll slowly walk y'all into the rest of my actual projects. Now, every day something comes in and tries to slow me down because I'm on this path of enlightenment for my personal self. And I'm just learning about me and getting closer to who I'm supposed to be. And like I told y'all before, when you get closer to the light, people always, like, you attract negative and positive energy. So, I'm just trying to build up my resistance to that shit, which is, also goes in line with the Cancer New Moon. I'm building my resistance to the fuckery. You know, I, I know it's coming. Every time I get good and go far into some shit, someone always have an opinion about it or they got some extra shit to say or they just talking shit at this point. But I'm building my resistance to that shit right now because I'm focused on creating loving relationships as far as I can take it. You know what I'm saying? Intimate relationships with people as far as I can take it because shit ain't perfect man you know what i'm saying shit ain't gonna never be just 100 percent peachy keen like it's just not sometimes shit gonna be what it is and when it comes to stuff like that it'd be hard for me because i'm, I'm really about the team the group but if i don't see the team going in a good direction i start fucking spazzing out because i'm just like bro how is it that you can have this work ethic or whatever? How is it that you can do this shit for somebody else that you don't care about? You don't care where you at. You don't care what you're doing. But yet you can put your heart and soul into this shit because of a bill. Like, my nigga, priorities is fucked off, man. You got to focus on what's really real. What's real is the people. When, when you fucking ain't got shit, you could lose this job tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could lose all your shit tomorrow. Who's gonna be there for you in the end? We are, nigga. Not that fucking weak ass job. Not these fucking material items you bought. Like, some people don't even have that. That's why I be like, why, how How can you worry so much about that when you can put your heart and soul into yourself and the people around you that genuinely give a fuck, let you be you and, and give a fuck about you, right? And I had to learn that lesson last weekend. I'm like, man, these niggas care about me and this job don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck. All it is to them is just fucking money. Oh, he bringing in more money by making this pizza. Like, nah, bro, fuck that. Y'all niggas can kiss my ass. I would rather, I would rather get it out the mud and figure it out my fucking self. You know what I'm saying? I done did this before when I had a job. So I'd rather just figure that shit out myself. And some people gonna have an opinion about that, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? 
niggas got opinions like assholes. Everybody got one for real. You just gotta, you just gotta deal with that shit, man. But focus, focus on your boundaries. Focus on what you're willing to put up with and what you're not willing to put up with. If you know niggas gonna come at you with some crazy shit, just hey. I don't appreciate how you talking to me like that, cuz. I can't bink your ass. I can't bink, bink. I can't do that to you because I actually care about you. So, just back, back. Back the fuck up off me. <laughs> back the fuck up off me. We'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Back the fuck up off me. That's all That's all I can say right now, man. Because I'm I'm the type of nigga. I like fighting. So, I just I stay out of that shit, man. I stay out of it because I know I'm a fucking I harm myself on purpose just to fucking prove a point. So y'all gotta stay y'all gotta stay away from that type of shit for real. But I can't tell you what to do, man. All I can do is offer advice from my personal experiences and just really tell y'all how shit be going in my life. You know what I'm saying? Every day in Lord Shoe X life is a fucking roller coaster. That's why people be like telling me like man you so you you on your shit like i look up to you you a leader and i'm like bro if you knew all the shit that go through my head and the emotional shit that i have to like compress down into like nothing just to keep from fucking going crazy because i'll be i'll be on the brink of going fucking crazy sometimes man i just have to really push it into a perspective that my mind can understand because according to my actual mind Everybody ain't doing shit. Everybody ain't about shit. Because niggas only worrying about mundane bullshit. They not worried about the real shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how my brain be on sometimes. Really all the time. Because I'm just, I'm Aries, man. Like, my brain, my thought process, or my mercurial thinking, my thoughts come in. I'm like, bro, all right, you just had this great idea. It's time to act on it now. It be niggas around me that they'll do shit in steps, which I follow that. I see how certain people move and I see how it works for them, so I take on their traits too. But if I see somebody who just not like on their shit like they supposed to be, they equate in their life to the things that they have to go get. I'm like, bro, you better than this. <laughs> you better than this shit. You gotta move. You gotta move into a better state. You gotta go into a higher state. See, I be. I'm about me. I don't give a fuck about nothing else but me. Everybody else around me, these are extensions of me. So if I'm not worrying about me and trying to get me to a better state, guess what my extension is gonna look like? Like worthlessness. Because they not, they, I ain't good. So everything else around me ain't gonna fucking matter. So I'm on here doing these streams to get my mind in that mind, in that, that thought process where, hey, I'm doing something. The people who watching me, they're gonna be doing something because I'm inspiring them. That's all that fucking matters. Actions, my nigga. Who gives a fuck about all that other shit? Talking, all that bullshit. The only reason I talk is because that's the only way I can commu communicate with the human race and the primordial being. It's the only way. Y'all niggas ain't built to the point yet where I can just psychically send you messages. You know, I have to do it through videos. Most people ain't built like that yet. There's a few people I fuck with that receive messages that I send psychically, but everybody ain't built like that. And it's nothing against y'all, it ain't even hate. I'm working with people to get them to that point through my actions, by me getting on here and talking about this spiritual shit, talking about what's going on in the world, talking about these new trends that's popping off, these content I put out all the time to get people to that. Cause these images I put out, visually have people seeing that shit y'all seeing the spirituality i'm giving y'all my light by shining y'all can siphon energy from me but i keep my light strong so that y'all can siphon energy from me but don't get it fucked up because i be getting burnt out too and like the, the that tupac stream i did and <laughs> That should that lets you know what it looks like when the sun ain't when the sun covered up in clouds. All them clouds are our thoughts. <laughs> when you having a shitty day, it's because your sun can't shine through the cloud or the thoughts. Your thoughts can cloud you from seeing the real shit, the universal truth. That's why I was telling y'all, having all this knowledge is cool, I guess. 
But if you ain't using it, if you're not using the shit to better yourself, the people around you, your family, or you're not sharing this knowledge with people, you basically just in clouds all the time. That's why I started doing these streams because I was in clouds. I use the knowledge that I have, but only the shit that I can use. You know what I'm saying? My path, I only use so much knowledge. I don't need all the knowledge on my path. I just hold knowledge because I like to learn shit. But it's a reason why I'm on here now telling y'all this information. Because some shit I don't need. Like, I don't do moon rituals and shit like that. But y'all might start. Y'all might be interested in how to use the moon to manifest certain shit. It's a new moon right now. You can manifest shit in this new moon. But I'm not finna explain to you the process. It's so much information out here where you could go look it up. On Google. On DuckDuckGo. I'm sure you probably find better rituals on Duck Duck Go anyways. But yeah, shit like that, man. Like it's it's so much shit out here that you could really be absorbing. So don't ever think for one minute that I'ma just get on here and just start blasting y'all with occult knowledge. Cause I'm not doing it. <laughs> I am not doing that shit, man. I'm sorry. I know y'all fuck with the streams, but when it, when I start seeing the stream move up, when I get uh, 50 followers, I'll start talking about shit for real, for real. And at that point, I ain't even gonna be on Twitch no more. When I get 50, when I get 50 followers on here, I start lacing y'all with the real shit. But until then, right now, these 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 streams I'm doing is stream of conscience. I'm just giving y'all information that could benefit you on your day to day life right now. Because occult shit, you have to go in. You technically have to be an initiate to even get information like that. Like, spirit has to choose you and be like, hey, you're the one that has to deliver this information. So when I start feeling like, okay, I got enough people on here watching, I'm spirit. So I'm going to choose you to give you this information. And like I said, at that point, I won't be on here. We're going to take that shit elsewhere. We're going to take it to a place where we can be safe and discuss this shit. Cause people got spiritual channels everywhere. If you want to go learn some occult shit now, hey, get on YouTube and they'll give you the start of creating your own religion. But if you want to know the real shit, the, the, the true shit, run these followers up. Fit, give me 50 followers. Tell your people, share, subscribe. And also, y'all should turn on your notifications so that when I go live, you can be like, hey, y'all, let's get together so that all of y'all can watch me at one time instead of just getting on later and watching the shit after I done did it live because it's way better when it's live anyway. And drink water. I've been fucking these water bottles up, man. Drink hella water because that's, that's the first way to connect with spirit is through moisture. Got the fire in your belly, the air, the ether. Look, I'm already giving you too much. <laughs> alchemicals, man. The alchemical structures, man. It's a lot going on, man. That I wish I could share with y'all. But I'ma go. I just I want to tell everybody on here that watch these streams. I appreciate you. I love you. Y'all got a special place in my heart forever. All the people who uh on this channel. I really appreciate y'all for real, for real, man. And I'm working hard to bring y'all some new content. Actually, uh, I got some new content coming very soon. I don't really like saying shit like that because it might change. But I know for a fact it's coming. I'm just, I'm really sitting on it. And just perfecting it right now. Making sure it's like, it's beautiful when I give it to you. So, y'all be on the lookout for for these streams, because everything that I talk about in these streams pertains to this new content. So, y'all be ready for the streams. They coming soon. Much love to everybody who watches these streams. Uh, check out the website, shoelovesrebels.com. I already showed y'all the product twice on the stream. If you want some of this electrocuted wood, this lightning struck wood so you can do your rituals and 
protect yourself, your family, and your home even more. Because I know y'all might got the Glock, but if you even, you, you don't want to waste your bullets, right? Just get you some of this, get you some of this lightning wood. But anyways, Lord X out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I'm out this bitch.